Welcome back to Geographic World's channel where learning is fun. For this video, we will discuss the answers to question 4 on the 2017 May-June CSET Geographic Paper 2. Remember to follow Geographic World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Question 4 on the May-June 2017 Geographic CSEC paper 2 asks that you draw a sketch map of, the, of a named Caribbean country which is worth 3 marks and section 2 of that asks that you indicate on the sketch map the location of a named industrial area. Now we talk about an industrial area or an industry, we are talking about an economic activity that is concerned with the processing of raw material and manufacturing of goods in factories. So you can now decide which Caribbean territory you want to draw and remember now you have to locate the, name, the, the, the area that they have an industrial um, location, an industrial location on the map. So for example, I have two maps here. I have a map of Guyana and I have a map of Jamaica. Right? So it is showing you where in the on the island they have the different industries. Now for section A or part one, when you draw your sketch map, please ensure that your maps have all five elements. So you draw the map of Jamaica and then you include all five elements which is your title your border your scale your key and your compass point you get marked for having your five elements now remember that most of our industries in the caribbean they're located closer to the coast so when you're studying a map of the territory that you like to draw then please remember to look out for where these industrial areas are located. Question B asks that we define the following terms. So the first one is global warming and this is just a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere generally attributed to the greenhouse effect. So global warming is caused because of the greenhouse effect. Now part two asks that we define the greenhouse effect and it is just a natural process that warms and traps solar radiation in the Earth's atmosphere. Now, part two of the question gives, you a, gives us a table that is looking at the human activity as well as the greenhouse gases that are associated with it. Now, the first one is burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. So when we burn fossil fuels and we cut down trees, we're basically releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now in order for nitro, nitrogen oxide to be released, we have to use nitrogen fertilizers or we have to burn fossil fuels and wood in order for nitrogen oxide to be released. Now for methane, if we have livestock or rice production or we have decaying of organic matter or we have the extraction of fossil fuels then we have methane that will be released methane will really release right and for for chlorofluorocarbons if we use solvents and cleaners then we're releasing chlorofluorocarbon into the atmosphere now section c asks that we identify one mitigation measure that has been used in both the caribbean and the united kingdom or the united states or the united states or the usa 
reduce climate change so just identify one now there is a whole long list of mitigation measures that are common between the caribbean and the united states of america and the united kingdom so the first is that the use of renewable energy in the form of water wind or solar you have reforestation programs you have the recycling of garbage raising awareness through education you have the development of a transport sector you have the creation of laws to protect the environment so you have to just identify one now for part two it basically is asking us to compare the effectiveness of the measure stated above in the Caribbean with either the United States or the United Kingdom. Now, the effectiveness of it is basically asking how did the strategy work or did it not work? Why did the strategy work? Why did the strategy not work? So for example, the reforestation program in the caribbean is definitely working for example in jamaica annually at least 1000 trees are planted right so it is working but it is working in very slow progression while in the united states and the united kingdom we do have reforestation programs that are there that are moving at a quicker pace than jamaica however or the caribbean so the effectiveness of them is that yes they're working but they're moving at a very slow pace the use of renewable energy for example the united states and the united kingdom they have the finances to basically push the use of renewable energy so it is working even better for them right to the point that most of some of these countries they use electric cars now as it relates to the car the caribbean we are still in the phase of trying to see how best we can use or so you know only the richer persons in the caribbean will be able to afford um these type of renewable energy right because of the finances that the caribbean has now we are unable to move at a fast pace with the renewable energy as the united kingdom or the united states of america three asks that for a named caribbean territory explain two ways in which the manufacturing industry contributes to environmental degradation now remember to state the name of your caribbean territory because you actually get marks for stating the name now the manufacturing industry it basic it definitely causes some form of environmental degradation because discharge from the, the manufacturing industry is basically released into the sea you have untreated waste being um, released you have toxic substances for example like the waste from the distilleries you have harmful gases that have been released into the atmosphere so you have thermal pollution taking place from manufacturing industry where the industries they basically just release hot water into rivers and ponds without cooling it causing thermal pollution so you have air pollution you have water pollution in two forms taking place and these are just a, these are just a few ways in which the manufacturing industry contributes to environmental degradation thank you for watching this video Please remember to like, share, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like this. Leave comments below suggesting geographic topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye bye.